participated from the other side, uh, were from the US, were um, in the night show, were from the US. So quite a few of them had team members from India. But because uh, the two sets of ladies and gentlemen may not know each other that well, I'm going to quickly ask teams to introduce themselves. Uh, team number one, Rhodesian Solution. And uh, for all those of you in the not in that first group, they are inspired by an episode of Yes Minister. And how good could a team name get if it's inspired by an episode from Yes Minister? All yours, Rhodesian Solution. Tell us about yourselves. Hello. Hi, everyone. So we are team Rhodesia Solution. All of us based in Singapore. One of our members is in Calcutta today. Rito, do you want to say hi? Uh, hi. Hey, hi. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if you can see him, folks. He's, uh, he's been having a little problems with his camera. But the rest of us are all here. So I'm Shri. With me is Saurabh and hi. Kala. Hi. Hi, guys. So Rhodesia Solutions, good to have you here. Next up are my old friends, Takila Mockingbird. Takila Mockingbird, please introduce yourselves. I had many things to say about them. I shall be much politer to you this time. I promise you. Yes. Hi, uh, this is Tekla Mockingbird. I'm TG. Uh, some of us are based in Singapore. Uh, actually, we are across Singapore, uh, Kuala Lumpur, and uh, India. I'm TG. Sumo Movin, you can go ahead. Hi, I'm uh, Rajan Prabhu, also known as Sumo, based in Singapore. Movin. I'm Movin. I'm based in Kuala Lumpur since about 20 years. Movin, I've uh, noticed you have strategically switched off the so Movin is the grand, I like to call him the grand old man of Indian cuisine, though he doesn't have a single white hair, but I claim that half the no, I half the population, cuisine population of this country have learned their cuisine in the, you know, sitting on the lap of, as Rajin Prabhu himself honestly admits, on the right lap of Movin Miranda. I shall not embarrass you anymore except to say that I'm delighted to have you here. Okay, Thank lovely you. to see Tequila Mockingbird and Fifty Shades of Grey Matter. Which cities are you spread over and who are you guys? Hi, we are uh, I'm Dev Devotam. I'm uh, based in Singapore and my teammates are Dijo, Vishan, Kunal. If you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Dijo, based in Singapore. Uh, sorry, Joy, uh, in your enthusiasm, you missed out uh, me. I'm the fourth oh. member of... Uh, oh, how, how, how could I miss you out, Tadagata? You not only uh, I missed you out, you're you are the guy who saved them on a, with a terrific answer. Tatha is another one of the doings of uh, <laughs> India cuisine. And uh, it's, it's fantastic to have, as I said, some of us couldn't keep up with cuisine, some of us kept up with cuisine. So that's what the interesting thing about today. It's a great mix of quiz cultures. A lot of people in the US and all over the place who quizzed a long time back and a lot of people still involved in quizzing. So I hope we'll just get the right mix of people out there. Lovely to have you, Tota. And uh, yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey Matter. Kunal, I know you don't want to introduce yourself. So Fifty Shades of Grey Matter for all the rest of you is one of our, what you call, hardcore teams. So hardcore teams, by hardcore teams, I mean, they'll take slow buses and fast trains and uh, camel rides to get to the quiz wherever it is. There is no part of the country where they will not go and participate in the quiz. And I totally, absolutely admire that. And I, I've done that for most of my life. So I will not say anything more about it. Lovely uh, to have you. 50 have one more thing. I have actually taken a ferry to get to a quiz on time as well. So the Havada ferry. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that. I know Havada ferry. I have, I've known people to do desperate things to reach quizzes. So I know all of you are basically quizzes, so that kind of desperation is there. It's just that if you open this up, there'll be far more stories like that. The next team is Dishum 2021. And yeah, it's a very, they don't pull their punches, as they say. Hi. Yourselves, please. Hi, this is Sudipto. Uh, and we are a team from, originally from Singapore. Uh, but one of our uh, team members has since uh, decided to move back to the UK. So uh, it's a joy deep. Uh, Move back to the UK, but uh, we still have uh, Shupratik and Obijit uh, who are still in Singapore. So three plus one, that's uh, us. Fabulous. Good to see you back, Dishum. Dishum is one of those consistent performers in Mind Domain's quizzes. Every year they come back and they beat up a few people. A beat up only uh, figuratively, I have to say. Okay, next up, has been has been where are you, gentlemen? Ranjan, I am from Bombay. 
Vijay. Is she also I'm, from Mumbai? Mumbai, yes. I'm Vijay and I'm also from Mumbai. I'm Devraj and we are all four profs. I'm also from Mumbai. Yeah, so these are four profs, as I told the teams who were there last time in the America round, but the Singapore gen. Rushi was the winner of uh, Quiz Time 1988. He was not just the winner, he was a slaughterer of a lot of quizzing reputations. Many people went back and cried into their rasam or their dosa or their lassi for many, many years after that because of what Rushi did to them. So they're a formidable team and uh, good to have them here. Next up is a team who actually landed up late for the quiz, came with two members, and I'd be interested in seeing how many members they have today. They call themselves Vela Group. Vela Group, where are you? Yeah, we are here. So, so we have all four. Incidentally, I think the other two also joined uh, towards the end of the last evening's quiz. So I think- So the, you'd introduce yourself, Vela Group. Yeah, so I am Pratik, uh, and on the group we have Ajitab, Sumed, and Nikunj. Uh, so Ajitab, Sumed and Nikunj have a Calcutta connection and all of us uh, have worked batchmates at I am Ahmedabad. So that's our uh, backstory. So, I mean, given, I think there are about, about 15, at least a good 25% of the population here is I am Ahmedabad, I think. Between all the departments, if I put it together, it'd be a good 25%. Well done, Vela Group. Good to have you here. And the next is a team called Uncalled For, who performed really well yesterday. Uncalled For, introduce yourselves, please. Hi guys, I'm Arvind. Uh, I'm in Singapore. Yeah, I'm Arjun. I'm based out of Gurgaon. And uh, Indrajit and Parvati and Indrajit uh, are online. So we are, uh, the connection is three mutts and one who's not a mutt. So three Lamarts <laughs> guys here. And we have Indrajit. I just found Movin was on and I'm seeing him after. He says 23 years. It could be 22. Where did you see Movin last? Uh, he's a quiz guy, right? So he uh, he's a quiz guy, no. So Movin, <laughs> I saw Movin last, I think in 97, he had come to Bitspilani to organize one of our quizzes. So I'm just trying to... Uh, okay. Just, uh, if you were in Bitspilani, have you, have you know, the, close by there's a temple, Pushkar. So yeah. the temples are there. There's a Brahma temple at Pushkar, which is famous. Mm -hmm. And there's a Movin quizzing temple out there. Which <laughs> if you ever choose to go across, there's a Movin temple out there. Uh, if you give your prasad, you get a 10 question prelims. So <laughs> check it out for next time. Uh, next up, and our last team for the day Inform In Maniacs, gentlemen, uh, int ladies, introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm Gaurav. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, with me is King Shuk, who's joining from Boston. Uh, Rajesh, who's joining from Guru, uh, Gurgaon. And uh, Rahul, who's joining from Washington, D.C. Uh, all of us uh, are from the same batch of IMC, which is where the name comes from. And on a moment memory, I mean, when we were there, 94, Movin did uh, conducted the first quiz when we joined uh, IMC. So that's uh, there's probably a temple there as well for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, uh, Kunal, as one of the heads of the priests of the Movin, Temple of Movin, I'd like you to sort of uh, give us a more formal introduction at some point to the culture of the religion of Movin. Uh, right now, we'll have to just, uh, you know, console ourselves with the fact that he is he's actually participating in a quiz with us. Movin, I know you'll never forgive me for all this, but hey, how, how often does a man get a chance to do all this online without you having to reply? Okay, brilliant, super. So this is a quiz. I'm not. I've not changed the formats, guys. Uh, two, three simple things. There are much tougher and much more. There are many quizzes online nowadays. They're fantastic. They're great formats or something. What I've tried to do is I've tried to marry two very simple cultures. One is a culture of people who quizzed in the 80s and 90s are used to a certain format. Questions being asked, not just you know just PPTs on screen, and also taking away connect, pounce, all the things that make quizzing a high stress activity. This quiz is not about a high stress activity, though Mind Amaze has some really nice prizes also, which uh, uh, we can hear, we hear about later from Swapna, but it's also about just enjoying an hour of quizzing, thinking a bit, uh, discussing with your teammates on WhatsApp and trying to get up with answers. It's not, so we are marrying a culture of fairly hardcore quizzing. So the quiz, we're trying to make it as interesting as possible but not as stressful as your normal 21st century quizzes, okay? Having said that, may the best team win. We'll start exactly the same way as last time. We're gonna have a five question prelims, okay? That means five visual questions 
uh, for which you will provide answers. The only caveat here, Shiv, is uh, that if any team gets all five right, they get a five-point bonus as well. So you either get 20. If you get the 25 fifth right, you get a 30, okay? Cool. Yep. Teams, just remember, again, the same rules. One member from the team needs to send me all the answers together. One member from the team just sends me the answers together on my chat so that it doesn't go to everyone's chat. Otherwise, everyone else will have a look at your answer, okay? So just look for Joy Bhattacharya and send it on my chat straight off. Okay, we're starting straight off with the visuals, the first set of visuals coming up now. And your first one coming from Mind Amaze. Here's your question. Whose statue is that? Uh, I'll give you an option. Tell me the statue or the city in which it stands. We don't have Whose the visual. Or the city no, we, stands. Guys, no, be careful about discussing. We uh, don't have the visual. There's no visual. Wait, it's not going up? No. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me just try and figure out what's happening. Why is the share screen not working? Just hold on a second, please. Just hold on. Let me just try and see if I can sort this out for you. Okay, somebody's WhatsApp chat is up on the screen now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm wondering. Somebody else. Okay, I think somebody else's chat is up on screen. That needs to go off. Whoever's at the, whoever else is administrator, I think you're on. I think that needs no. to go off. Somebody no, needs to Indrajit Gupta's screen is on. No. Indrajit, if you can just get off your screen, then maybe I can start sharing. Let's have a try. Yeah. Indrajit, your screen is still on. Okay, I think now let me give it a shot. This should work now. Can you see it now? Yes. Guys, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, whose statue is that or in which city does it stand? Okay, that's visual number one. Visual number two. Where was this picture taken? That means I want a location. So if you think it's Howrah Station, tell me it's Howrah Station. If you think it's Madison Square Garden, say Madison Square Garden. Where was this picture taken? So first question, whose statue was that? Second question was where was this picture taken? Who's that? Who is that? That's your next visual. Question number four. Who is that? That's a Google Doodle honoring whom? And the last one, the flag of which country? The flag, national flag, it's a flag of which country? Okay. I'm going to slowly go backwards so that you see all of it. This is a fairly easy flag to see. I'm going backwards now. Google Doodle honoring whom? Who's this? Where was this picture taken? I want a name of a location. Whose statue is that? Okay. I'm going to give you one more minute by the clock to send in your answers. One minute to discuss and send in your answers.
Am I getting in answers? Okay, I think all teams have sent in the answers. Teams, has anyone not sent it in? King Shook, are you sending me piecemeal? I'd rather you send the answers together. Yes, I am. Give me one minute. No problems. Take your time. No worries. Uh, Joy, did you get us uh, uncalled for? Sh kind of shows unsent in some form here. You get it? I can't see uncalled for. Whose name has it come from? It's uh, Arvind. Mine. Uh, Arvind, I, I actually can't see your message here so far. Uh, let me. Uh... Why did you ask one of your other members to send it? Uh, you get it? Yeah, got it. I just resent it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go one by one with the answers. I think all the teams have sent in their answers. I'm going to give the answers one by one. And uh, if, as I said, Shiv will be we'll just in this course. The first one is this is the statue of Salahuddin or Saladin. I'll, I'm okay with what's however you spelt it, the Western way or the Eastern way. And Damascus, I would have accepted either. Some teams have sent both. This is the statue of Saladin, the legendary, you know, battler against the Crusades at Damascus. Okay. Possibly the best known Kurd of all time. Okay. Next. This is actually just before Pandit Ravi Shankar was performing at Woodstock. So they had actually had a chant at Woodstock before Woodstock started. So either Massey Asgar's farm or Woodstock, I would accept both answers. This, the answer I'm looking for is Woodstock or Max Yazger's farm, okay? Next. This is a man who won the, you know, we, we know most of the, it's a very interesting thing. We, most of the, you know, 100 meters gold medalists are known to us very easily because you have Hussein Bolt, you have Lewis, you have, you know, dominant people before that. This is the guy who got in between. This is Justin Gatlin, won an Olympic gold in 2004. That's Justin Gatlin. Okay, that's number three. This is one of my favorite ladies. That is the designer or architect, amazing architect, Zaha Hadid. Uh, again, I'll be kind on spellings and pronunciations, but I think you've all got it right. Zaha Hadid it is. And the last one coming up, that's the flag of Botswana. So blue is supposed to represent peace and the black and white is supposed to represent the zebra, which is also the animal which is on their logo. Interesting that, you know, with the... Botswana has so many elephants, but the zebra is the animal they chose in their logo. Okay, super. So pretty decent performance from the teams. Shiv, uh, uh, I'm going to go team by team. Yeah. And uh, why don't you guys tell me, I can see your scores as well, but why don't you guys tell me yourself. Rhodesian solution, how many did you get? Rhodesia solution. How many? All, we got all five. Rhodesia solution got all five and that's a fantastic oh. performance. 30 points to them. All five, I can see. Yes, I can see you guys that there. Saladin, Woodstock, Justin Gatlin, Zaha Hadid, and Botswana. 30 points to Odisha Solution. Fantastic start. Tequila Mockingbird. We got three, right? 15. Tequila Mockingbird, three, right? On 15. Uh, 50 Shades of Grey Matter. We got Four, three. right? Okay, 50 Shades of Grey Matter. Who is sending answers on your behalf? Ishan did. Okay, Ishan, I'd like you to, as I said, you just be sure the next time you don't change answers on me because I have one is Frederick Barbarossa. Is that the one which is incorrect, Charlemagne? And the other four are right. No, you have three right according to me. Oh, four right. I, I'll send you the screenshot of what I sent. Uh, look, the first answer I got, you've got, I'm afraid you've got three right according to me. 
So I got Woodstock, Gatlin, Hadid, and Botswana. I've numbered them. Uh, I just can you just give me a second to check it? Yeah. Did you send Botswana later, please? Because no, I sent it um, right on time. No, no. Did you send it twice? That's all I'm asking. No, I didn't send it twice. Okay, Ishan, I'll just just give me a second to check for the yeah. sake of the other teams. I'm afraid, okay, it came to me as two different messages, Ishan, that's a confusion. But okay. I'll give you 2020 is how much you guys have got. Dishum 2021, yours next. Dishum 21, 2021? Yeah, it was me, Joydeep Mukherjee, that sent you the answers, Joy. Oh, got it all we five had... from you. Yeah, thank you. 30 points to Dishum 2021, well done, all five to you. Yes. Has been, which one of you sent the message? Uh, Ranjan, uh, we got one, five points. Five points. Ranjan, five points for has beens. Vela Group? We got three. 15 points for Vela Group. Well done. Which ones did you get? We got the last three. Justin Gatlin, the Hardy. Thank you. Perfect. Uncalled for? Uh, we got one. Okay, 15. So some slow starts, some fast starts. Oh, that's and five, right? in Maniac? Yes. I don't know, five, not 15. Five. Just five. Yeah, you got five. Sorry, my apologies. And info in Maniacs? We think we got three, but we said Jason Gatlin, not Justin Gatlin. Jason so, Gatlin, oh, not oh. Justin Gatlin. Okay, I'm in a really good mood. 15 points to you. Okay. you. It's good to be a quiz master. And I, I'll tell you why I'm so kind, because I've just taken a class of Micah students. And, you know, I just feel anyone who's, you know, gets something slightly wrong in this thing, if you say, you know, it's just one of those brain freezes that happen. 15 for you. So great. Two teams, Dishum 2021 and Rhodesia Solution leading at this point in time. But everyone has scored. And uh, from now on, it's going to be a straight quiz. I'm going to be asking you questions. Team one will get about 15 to 20 seconds to discuss. But after that, I'm going to move very fast. Uh, about 16 questions clockwise, 16 questions anti-clockwise. And we are done with the quiz. And we can get back to the serious business of whatever it is that you do on Sunday mornings or Sunday evenings, depending on which part of the world you are. Okay. Or Sunday afternoons, if you happen to be in England, like Jyoti Pokhachi and a couple of the others. Okay. Question number one, this is for you, Rhodesia Solution. I think all of you have seen the, the band that's normally uh, worn by a lot of women and men, which is just right across out here. Okay. It's basically the band that people like even David Beckham wears, Jack Grealish wears, uh, lots of women wear it. The band in between like here, it's just, it's like this. If you had something on top of it, it'd be a tiara, but the band out there. Now, those bands have a very specific name. They were originally named after a 19th century literary character. What are those bands called? Rhodesia Solution, what are those bands called? I mean, all of us have seen those bands. Hello. Hello. Who answered? So is that Rhodesia Solution? Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Yeah. And your answer is? Alice Bands, as in Alice in Wonderland. Lovely answer. They are called Hello. Alice Bands from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Alice was the first Perfect. character to wear those bands. Great answer there. Alice Bands, and now, of course, everyone wears them. Fantastic answer. Okay, Tequila Mockingbird, your question. Joe Verdure. I'll spell it for you. Joe, J O E V E R D E U R, won the 200 meters breaststroke in the 1948 Olympics. Okay. What did that race result in? That race resulted in something happening. Okay. Joe Verder won the race, 200 meter breaststroke, 1948 Olympics. What happened as a result of that? Okay. I'm going to give you just about 15 seconds. Guys, uh, I want to see everyone on screen if possible because, uh, you know, for the sake of all the teams, uh, all the teams, I'd love, love you to be on screen because, you know, we have situations where I don't want any team to ever look at us and say that, you know, they're taking it. Yes, Joe Burjo, Tequila Mockingbird, I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Okay, so our guess is they basically created the butterfly competition because basically he won the press stroke event by swimming butterfly. Then they created butterfly as a separate event within the swimming. 
perfect absolutely correct there was basically six of the eight finalists out there used the butterfly stroke as a breast stroke and that time it was not illegal so it was a perfectly legal stroke they won it and these guys realized that you cannot have butterfly people and breast stroke people using the same style because the breast stroke would lose every time and in 1952 onwards the butterfly became a separate competition okay which book is named after a comment made in a dressing room during a test match in 1994 joy whose question this is uh tikhira makumbar answered 50 shades of gray matter which book is named after a comment made in a dressing room during a test match in 1994 which book is named after a comment made in a dressing room in a test match in 1994 it's your question 50 shades of gray matter Okay, ten more seconds. Out on a limb. Uh, Out on a limb. Not correct. Passing you. Dishun twenty twenty one. It's a book uh, based on, uh, sort of from Brian Lara being dropped, and somebody said he's only going to get thirty. Okay, not he's only going to get thirty. Good try though. Next, uh, is has been. Famous last words. No, good try. Vela Group. Honor of a foreign field. No, un uncalled for. Um, Dennis Lilly, how's that? No, not how's that. Inform in maniacs. No. Was it the over. quote uh, about the wars being who is the better brother? No, no, not that. Actually, there's a great comment is, but it's by Jamie Oman, not one of the uh, wars. Rudisha solution. No, passing you. Uh, tequila Mockingbird. Sorry, yours. Are we guessing war minus the shooting? Not war minus the shooting. Okay, this is basically a book. Uh, I I know Joydeep will curse himself. Basically, Fanny De Villiers, who was a South African fast bowler, he bounced an English tail end called Devon Malcolm, and Devon Malcolm walked into their dressing room and said, "You guys are history." Okay, he went and got nine for fifty-seven, which was his best performance ever. Blew them away, and that's the name of his autobiography. You guys are history. So that's basically what he said. Okay, whose question is it next? Uh, sorry, uh, they missed it, right? Uh, but my uh, my uh, uh, this thing, infinite bounce moves on. So it was fifty shades. Dishum, question. It goes to Dishum now. Dishum, your question. We all know about twenty-one gun salutes to the Maharaja of Baroda and Kashmir. Which person? or which sort of title had an 11 gun salute though it was not attached to any territorial principality okay so which person in in non pre independent india was deserved or so was accorded a 11 gun salute even though he was not attached to any territorial principality 11 gun salute not attached to any territorial principality wow. Is it Prince Ranjit Singh ji? Not Prince Ranjit Singh ji. Very good try. It's I know it's well thought through. No, has been. Aga Khan. Lovely answer. It is the Aga Khan. Absolutely. I mean, the Ismaili sect is all over. So there was no one particular place that they belong to, but the Aga Khan was basically all over the place, and he was accorded eleven gun salute. Great answer there, has been. And the next question goes to you, Vela Group. This gentleman's grandfather had started India's first collaboration, international collaboration. It was called Car Dash and Company. Dash, of course, was the surname of his family. Like his grandfather, he also tried his hand at business and started a venture called Metropolitan Motor Works, which also didn't go very well. And then, reluctantly, this gentleman decided to, you know, put his attentions into other things. who is this person i'm talking about his grandfather started perhaps india's first foreign collaboration with an indian and international company tie up it was called car dash dash being his surname and company 
this guy also decided that you know i also want to do stuff like this i also want to collaborate he set up something called metropolitan where motor works it didn't work who am i talking about your question this is uh, vela group the billas not the billas passing you uh, uncalled for so this is car tagore and company ravindranath tagore oh lovely answer absolutely fantastic super answer it is car tagore and company ravindranath tagore it is car tagore and company great answer there from the uncalled for and the next one goes to inform in maniacs your question here uh, there was a german auto company called horch h o r c h which literally means hark in german okay and this guy the guy who founded it thought it is a great company but it didn't work as well so he started another company which became much better known what was the second company so the original company was called horch which meant hark you know what was the second company called uh this is inform in many x yours Audi, huh? Audi, Audi is absolutely correct. It is Audi, of course. It's Audi. Ten points to you. Uh, he obviously decided that those were the ways which, which he wanted to name his cars. So Audi is correct. Ten points to you. Next direct, I'm going to uh, Rhodesia Solution. Yours, okay? This institution is more than four hundred years old, and it's named actually after a tiny, tiny Slovenian. village which is very close to the adriatic coast this it is now associated with a totally different city but moved there just only during the first world war it had been there many years before in this small adriatic city which institution which is world famous and people go from all round to see this institution and uh, their functions which institution am i talking about it's named after a tiny slovenian village where it existed for almost 350 years and then moved to a much bigger city during the first world war which institution am i talking about it's an institution famous around the world rodisha solution yours uh, joint we guessing is is it like a museum at dubrovnik Dubrovnik Museum, no, could try, no. Tequila Mockingbird. Uh, we are guessing the Spanish Riding School in Lipizzana, Austria. Lovely, lovely. This is the Spanish Riding School, which is obviously now in Vienna. The Lipizzana horses is from Lipica, the original place where it started off. This is a Spanish Riding School. Great answer there by the Godfather of Quizzing. Oh, sorry, God. Godfather was wrong. Godfather of quizzing. You can be your teammate uh, Tathagat. You can be the God of quizzing. Movin, we shall the temple of Movin. We shall lay obeisance to. Okay, Fifty Shades of Grey matter. Your here's your question. Complete this sentence or give me the next sentence to what I'm saying. Okay, give me the next sentence. It's almost like a powder. It's very fine. I'm going to step off now. next sentence 50 shades it's almost like a powder it's very small fine step. i'm going to step off now next sentence small step for man a giant leap for mankind lovely small step for man a giant leap for mankind these were this were the two sentences just before neil armstrong stepped on the surface of the moon 10 points to you fun answer there fabulously done and next one goes directly to who answered that 50 shades of grey matter edition 2021 yours okay this was invented by candido i'm not going to give you his surname for his brother as for his son kevin who suffered from rheumatoid arthritis candido's brother roy marketed and commercialized it and it, this product became very famous okay what was the family's surname so something was invented by candido for his brother kevin uh, for his son kevin who suffered from arthritis candido's brother roy marketed it and commercialized it 
what was the family surname? The big hint, rheumatoid arthritis. Dishum 2021. Was their surname Jacuzzi and that's what they named what they invented. Lovely, lovely, absolutely. His son was Jacuzzi, Candido Jacuzzi. And that's how the Jacuzzi gets its name. 10 points to you, Dishum 2021. And uh, uh, whose question is it now? This is? Uh, has been. Uh, has been. Okay. Three more questions and then we move forward. Okay. Has been your question here. What? according to a speech in 1948, swept from Stettin in the Baltic to Trietz in the Adriatic. What, according to a speech in the late 1940s, okay, I won't put it that way, in the late 1940s. Iron Curtain. Yeah, iron Curtain. Iron Curtain it is. Well done, has been. It is the Iron Curtain. That's your direct there. Vela Group, yours coming up now. Your direct coming up now. Okay. In the Czech Republic, Okay. What is, or let me frame this well, in the Czech Republic, okay, what are prices like 29.99 and 39.99 known as? In the Czech Republic, how are pricing? Barter pricing. Yes, they're called barter pricing because they were invented by Thomas Bata and anyone who's been to a barter shop in India. We'll see that all over the place, 29.99, 39.99, 99.99. .99. They were referred to as Bata pricing. That was your answer, Vela Group, right? Uncalled for, your direct. Uh, one of India's greatest singer, she was born with the name Angelina Yoward in 1873. She's an Armenian. Her father was an engineer in a nice factory. She later left her father. Her mother left her father. They both migrated to Banaras and where somebody called Kushid looked after them. And she's regarded as one of the pioneers of Indian music. Angelina Yoward is a real name. By what name do we know her? Uncalled for yours. Um, Jadan Bai. Not Jadan Bai, good try. Anyone else? Uh, Ro sorry, Ro sorry. Uncalled for it was your direct. Inform in main next, yours. Girija Devi. Not Girija Devi, much later. This is much earlier. Uh, Rodisha Solution. It was born in 1873, is it? Yeah, 19th century she was born. Yeah. Okay. Rodisha Solution, any answer? Gohar Jan, who answered that? Rudisha. Fabulous answer, Rudisha <laughs> Solution. That is Gohar Jan. Well done there. Fabulous answer. It is Gohar Jan. And that's, uh, she, that's what she was known as, Gohar Jan. And in fact, almost 30% of the original recordings of you know his master's voice company, AMI, or Gohar Jan's recordings, she was probably the most prolific Indian musician in the early 20th century. Okay, according to whose question? Uh, sorry, uh, this is the last question going one way. So, Rodisha Solution answer, Takila Mokumbad, yours. According to Michael Jordan, okay, the best match that he played in his life was in 1992. The most, according to him, the best match that he ever played in his life was in 1992. And he's described this match in great detail. He said, it's the best and toughest match I've ever played. What match was this? Takina Mockingbird, yours. According to Jordan, the best match that he ever played in his life was in 1992. What, who did he play against? What did he play? What, tell me a little bit about the match. Yeah, I think this is the Olympic uh, finals for the USA against uh, Tony Kukoc's team. Uh, uh, to Croatia, USA Croatia, 1992 final. Great try. Incorrect. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey Matter. Uh, these are the skirmishes in Monaco where uh, Magic Johnson uh, took the Western Conference guys and Jordan took the Eastern Conference guys. So they had a gym uh, game, the greatest game that nobody ever saw. 
Okay, I'll give it to you absolutely 50 shades of gray matter. This was actually, according to Jordan, the greatest game that he ever played was a game played inside. It was the last practice before the 1922 Olympics. If you remember those days, Magic Johnson was a big player. Magic led five guys. Jordan led the five others. And this was the ultimate confrontation. They went for it. And at the end of it, it's like Magic Johnson said finally that, okay, the, the throne, the new king is here. He's the man who's going to take over from here on. And Jordan keeps saying that never has a competition because all-star games, no players play very seriously. But this was dead serious. And according to Michael Jordan, it's the greatest game he ever played, toughest game he ever played. Okay, super. Uh, 12 questions gone. We're going to have some visuals now. We are still moving clockwise. So, Dishum 2021, we're going to start with the visual for you. Here's your visual coming up now. Can you see the visuals, guys? Not yet. No, you can't. Can you see the visual? Sorry, my apologies. I haven't shared my screen. No, no, yeah, not yet. Just hold on a second, please. Sorry, just give me a second. I'll try and sort my life out. Strange when you discover one thing on one day and then you happen to forget how to do it the very next day. Yep, got it. Okay, coming up now. Uh, this is Dishun 2021. What is happening here? Huge event in American history this is happening. What is happening here? Somebody's trying to do something, save someone. What's happening out here? Uh, come close enough and I'll give it to you. What's happening here, Dishun 2021? Uh, some, Joy, we'd like to answer to that um, this is President McKinley. He's just been assassinated and they're trying to locate the bullet. Okay. Anything more can you tell me about it? I'll... They're using the sort of first version of the some sort of a scanner to sort of locate where the metal fragment is lodged. And they were obviously unsuccessful because the guy died. Uh, I'm going to wait for a better answer. Dishun 2021, moving to has beens. Yeah. Um, yeah, McKinley is right. This is the first x ray. So they use the x ray to kind of look at it. Okay. Uh, moving to Vela uh, Group. This is the first ultrasound? Not correct. Uncalled for? Uh, this is Garfield, not McKinley. And uh, again, he's been shot. Absolutely. I have to give it to you. I'm sorry. You got everything else right, Joydeep, except that you got the wrong president. Yeah. Thank you. Shot. you it sure it is Garfield or McKinley. Somebody else did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you tried Garfield. In fact, the guy who's searching it is also right. It's Alexander Graham Bell. And that is the first sort of uh, primitive metal detector that he's using all over the place. But that happens to be Garfield, not McKinley. Bad luck there. 10 points just going past you. Just the wrong name. I'm on bad luck there. Okay, Dishum, yours missed. Next one coming up now. Okay. Who is it for, Joy? Uh, this one goes to, because uh, uncalled for answer it, inform in maniacs, it's yours. This is a scene that most of us uh, uh, have possibly seen in not in exactly this form, in a far more different form. This is a scene that many of us would have seen in many different forms. What is happening? It's a scene from history, but surprisingly enough, a lot of us must have seen this scene. Not represented like this, but otherwise. That's the only hint I can give you. What's happening? Informing maniacs. This is a uh, Vasinjitorex uh, uh, laying down arms in front of Caesar. <laughs> Lovely, absolutely. Fantastic answer. This is that famous scene of Western Kotoris who's giving us up arms in front of Caesar at Elysia. And every asterisk comic that you have, you'll see this scene. And he throws the shield and then Caesar is hopping about because the shield has fallen on him. And this scene is there. This is, of course, looks a far more noble scene than the scene that we normally see in asterisk comics. 
In fact, the whole story of Asterix and the Chieftain's Shield is about this particular incident, about a shield that goes missing just after this. So fabulous answer. Love it, Informing Maniacs. Uh, that's a terrific answer. Lovely answer there. Next one coming up. Okay, this is Rudisha Solution, yours. Okay. Either tell me this aircraft, name of this aircraft, or why is it famous? I mean, why is it unique? Hey, Joy. Uh, yeah, Rudisha answering. We think this is the one in which Chuck Eager broke the speed record. No, this is not the one in which Chuck Eager goes the speed record. That's the X-15. Move on. Moving on. Uh, Chuck Eager Mockingbird. Oh, no, no, I thought it was that. Okay. Are you answering Tequila? Tequila, you We answering? had the Chuck Eager answer as well, so pass. Okay, moving on. Fifty Shades of Grey Matter. No, not. Okay. So it was used to launch uh, space shuttles uh, before Cape Canaveral. So the mount on the top is where the... Columbia and the other things were put and they would go up and it would release it at a certain altitude. Doesn't it look a bit small for that anyway? Uh, Dishun 2021. <laughs> no. Joy, this is the this is the McDonnell Douglas go goblin. So basically these were sort of secreted into larger aircraft to avoid radar and they'd come out of that and you know go on. That's a fantastic runs. answer. That's an absolutely staggering answer, Joy. This is the McDonnell Douglas Goblin, the X-85 Goblins. And Goblins actually were meant to be inside a bomber called the B-36 Convair. And these were the only aircrafts, you know, most famous aircraft specifically designed to be launched from other aircraft. So they would be launched from there, they'd go there, and they even had a sort of mechanism for picking them back in midair. So absolutely fantastic answer there. These were the Goblins. I just pity the pilots who had to fly these things because as you can make out, they're like scarily small. Okay, the goblin it is, Dishum. That's a terrific answer. Sensational, stunning answer there. Next one coming up and uh, two more, no, three more and then we change directions. The next one coming up. Okay, minimalist poster uh, has been for which film? The minimalist poster for which film? The funny thing is either you get it or you don't. Has been minimalist poster for which film? Ruchi Go. Uh, okay, is it uh, is it uh, Deer Hunter? Not Deer Hunter. Vela Group. <laughs> I know people, whoever's got it is trying not to say anything. Okay. Vela Group, no passing you. Uncalled for. This is three bullets. Passing you. Inform in maniacs. Shole? Absolutely. This is Shole. Kitne, kitne aadmi the. Sardar do. Teen goli. This is the whole three bullets of Shole. You see it in front of you. I know it seemed very strange, but the moment you realize that that's a revolver which has these three bullets, that's Shole. Lovely answer, Inform in maniacs. I really enjoy the answers you're giving. I'm really enjoying yourself. Terrific answer. That's a poster for Shole. Two more questions to go before we change directions. Here goes another one. Okay, another film one. I've garbled the face in the middle. As you can see, there's Tom Cruise out there. Uh, you can recognize the gentleman on his right. I'm not going to give you any more hints. Whose face is obscured in the middle? Okay. Uh, Rodisha solution, yours. Yeah, Rodisha answering. This is Meg Ryan. Yes. And do you know the film? Yeah, Top Gun. Okay, this is Meg Ryan in Top Gun. That's Goose. That's basically the Goose, the guy who's the other pilot. Meg Ryan was obviously not a huge heroine at that time. She was playing a secondary role as Goose. Well done. 10 points to your solution. And the last direct going out. Okay. Just this is a bird which is famous for its mating ritual. Just identify this bird. Tough, but if you're a birdie, you'll get it. But famous for its mating ritual. Just identify this bird. This is Tequila Mockingbird, yours. Uh, 
Uh, is this the Bauer bird? Not the Bauer bird. Uh, no. Fifty Shades of Grey matter. I'll go with a wobbler. Not the wobbler. Is it a florican? Twenty twenty one. Is it a florican? It is the florican. It is the florican. This is the florican bird. And I'll tell you the best part about this bird, the story about this, why I also enjoy it. So one of our friends who was, who was in his own time in the 80s and 90s, one of the top quizzers in the quizzing circuit uh, from FMS. And uh, recently, one of his company board members asked him that, what's your target this year? And he turned around with a straight face and said, to view firsthand the mating ritual of the lesser florican. And his board didn't have a single other question to ask for him. And I thought that was one of the dev most devastating answers I've ever heard. So the lesser Florican, it is great answer there, Joydeep. If you see these guys, they just jump particularly like that. Just go straight up. It's one of the funniest rituals I've seen. It's something worth seeing if you haven't seen it. Okay, lesser Florican all aside. The next person who's going to share with you is going to be Shiv. And Shiv is going to... Uh, Right now, we'll stop sharing first. Shiv is going to give us the scores at this stage. This is exactly the halfway mark. Shiv, tell us what it's all about. Wow. Yeah, so we have Rodisha Solution and Dishoom 21 both tied at 60. And uh, then we have the Informing Maniacs at close behind at 45, and also 50 Shades of Grey at 45, uh, 40. Uh, next. Tequila Mockingbird at 35, and then three teams at 25 each. The has been Vela Group and Uncalled For. Nobody's really out of it. We've had some spectacular answers. It's time for us to change directions, and we'll go on with our next set of questions. These are direct questions. And the first team who's going to get it, uh, Floricans was the last question answered, right? So 50 Shades of Grime, Grey Matter, this is going to be your direct coming up now. Okay, uh, 50 Shades of Grey Matter, your question is, The Hoax is a 2006 American film starring Richard Gere and was based on a book of the same title. What is the film about? And why is it, why is it so interesting? Why was this film, The Hoax, so interesting? Yeah, so... Uh... It was about Clifford Irving's uh, autobiography of the Howard Hughes, which was itself a, um, like it wasn't like Howard Hughes sued Clifford Irving, and uh, it was like not authorized. It was he claimed to be Howard, so that's what it's about, you know. So do you need me to improve or? Well done, absolutely. You got it bang on. Basically, Clifford Irving was a man who claimed to have met Howard Hughes and as had took huge advances from publishing companies saying that I have the authorized biography of, uh, autobiography of Howard Hughes. He was actually cheating them. And years later, they went to Clifford Irving and said, you know what, we want to make a film about the hoax you perpetrated. And he was a technical screenwriter for the film and then technical advisor for the film. So the hoax was actually about the person who was, a, you know, perpetrating the hoax actually was a part of the story. So great answer there. Good one. Uh, Next question, and this one goes to Tequila Mockingbird. Tequila Mockingbird, your question, okay. In 1921, which industrialist, I mean, he's also an industrialist among other things, used to have a 146 question quiz to choose people to work at his plant, which he thought was one of the best in the world. Which person had a 146 question quiz to choose people to work at his plant and of the 718 applicants who took that test, only 57 got a passing score of 70%. And uh, questions were like crazy, like which city in the US is noted for making laundry machines? There were questions like that. In which country other than Australia are kangaroos found? So it was like a GK test in 1921. Who used to run this for people working at this plant? Question two, that's Tequila Mockingbird, your question. Uh, Edison. Who's that? Who answered uh, that? Tequila Mockingbird, TG. Okay, perfect. It's Thomas Alva Edison. He was the guy who had these, who started quizzing far before quizzing started. 10 points to you. They had this whole thing and they went and asked Einstein some of the questions and Einstein couldn't answer. And they said, 
If Einstein can't answer it, I don't know why he's asking these questions. So it was quite a surface. Okay, Rodisha Solutions, your question. Quote from a famous author. Okay, just tell me, name the author or the work he's talking about. The Dresden atrocity, tremendously expensive and meticulously planned, was so meaningless finally that only one person on the entire planet got any benefit from it. I am that person. I wrote this book, which earned a lot of money for me and made my reputation, such as it is. One way or another, I got two or three dollars for every person killed. Some business I made. I'll repeat that just once. It's quite a stirring quote. The Dresden atrocity, tremendously expensive and meticulously planned, was so meaningless finally that only one person on the entire planet got any benefit from it. I am that person. I wrote this book, which earned a lot of money and made my reputation such as it is. One way or another, I got two or three dollars for every person killed. Some business I made. Who's this? Uh, Joy, is this Slaughterhouse Five, Kurt Vonnegut? Lovely. It is Slaughterhouse Five, and Kurt Vonnegut. Ten points to you. Well answered there. Okay, next one coming up. Okay. So there was a gentleman called D. Okay, D. -E -E. Good question. Uh, this is sorry. Uh, this is Infomain Maniacs. Okay. So I'm not going to give you his first name, though it's not really meaningless. D was one of Queen Elizabeth's greatest advisors. Okay. He was also a man in those days. So he was a man of scientific temperament, heliocentric universe. He had telescopes. He is the man who advised. He is the man who advised. Uh, Queen Elizabeth that don't send your own ships to fight the Spanish Armada. Hold on. The Armada is going to get into trouble in any case because of the weather. Okay, the Spanish Armada. D was also used to run the spy center of the entire spying group for Queen Elizabeth was run by D. Okay. How he signed his letters has uh, is something that we've seen in popular culture in the 20th century. In what way did D sign his letters and how is he sort of still remembered because of the way he signed his letters? Okay, this was a question. This is to whom? Uh, Tequila, uh, Rodisha Solution had answered Inform. this now, right? Inform in Maniacs. Inform in Maniacs, yours. How, uh, what was special about the way John D signed his letters? This is John Doe. Uh, John D, not John Doe. John Doe is the unknown guy. John D. Um, is it six six six? Not six six six. Good try. Uncalled for. This is mirror writing. No, good try, but that's more that's more Da Vinci than him. Vela Group. Zero zero seven. Double o seven. Absolutely. Double O's signifying that he is the eyes, and they are the eyes that they see. And seven is an occult number, very popular among occults. So he signed it 007, and you know that's the way we remember him now. Okay, has been your question, and a few of you are from Bombay, so I think you'll enjoy it. How do we remember, still remember, and celebrate the first Indian to score a double century in a first-class match in India? It was against the Europeans at Pune in the early 20th century. How do we still remember? For you know, how do we still commemorate the first Indian to score a double century in a first class match in India? It was scored against the Europeans at Pune in the early 20th century. And as is I said, it, this question is it yeah, uh, the tournament is the Harris Shield? Not the Harris Shield. Uh, passing you has been next issue 2021. Issue 2021, do you have an answer? We are passing. Passing. Uh, 50 Shades of Grey Matter. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, you answer? Uh, this is, uh, can I take it, John? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Sultan Wazir. Sultan Wazir, incorrect. Tequila Mockingbird. Is it the... Is it the Devadar trophy? Not the Devadar, that's after, after DP Devadar, no. Rudisha solution. Uh, is it the Irani trophy? Not, that's after the same. Inform in Maniacs. Okay. 
for when we next passing you uncalled for uh is this the kanga league it is the kanga league of course bombay's most popular league the kanga league is named after hormuz ji kanga and obviously if he scored a century against the europeans his name would be harris it's more likely to be an indian name so kanga league it is great answer and called for it went all the way around and uh, fabulous the answer okay okay next question coming up okay here's your question okay so basically who is the who is this for again sorry who is this question for oh uh, sorry my apologies uh, uncalled for answer so it's vela groups okay paul langevin l a n g e v i n and a journalist named gustav terry t e r y fought a duel in 1911 about the honor of which person okay paul langevin and gustav terry who's a journalist fought a duel in 1911 to protect the honor of which person the duel nothing happened because i'll tell you why it nothing happened because terry said he refused to shoot the grounds because he didn't want to rid france of one of its most famous minds and langevin said that he wasn't an assassin and put his gun down as well but these two people fought a duel about which person or about what had happened why did these two people fight a duel vela group that's yours Langevin, Dreyfus affair. Not the Dreyfus affair. Good try because yeah, early twentieth century has been. Coco Chanel. Uh, Coco Chanel. No, Dishun twenty twenty one. This was over Marie Curie. Lovely answer. This is fought over Madame Curie. Langevin was the much married four with four children, and he was having an affair with Marie Curie, and everyone said. that the nobel prize was given as a sympathy for her because you know she's there's been a lot of bad press and all the interesting thing though is the nobel prizes were not very big till then you know they were not that famous once this incident happened basically all this you know uh, the tabloids writing about it and langevin and curie and all the nobel prizes also became far better known around the world so which only goes to show that a little bit of gossip is necessary even to you know promote science okay There isn't the cautionary tale out here, so I'll just leave it at that. So lovely answer there, Dishun twenty twenty one, and the next one is for you. That's Fifty uh, uh, Shades of Grey matter. So the first three G networks worldwide were introduced in nineteen ninety eight. Four G started spreading early two thousand seven eight, but in two thousand and eight nine, if you talked about three G houses in the United States of America, what were you talking about? Three G houses in the United States of America. What were they talking? Fifty Shades of Grey matter yours. Three generation houses. Who's answering that? That's me, Dev. Fifty Shades. Absolutely, three generation houses. Basically, the entire the bust, the financial bust of two thousand eight meant that a lot of kids moved back in. A lot of parents couldn't afford to stay alone. and suddenly you had three generations living under the same roof they were called three generation houses great answer there okay two more questions to go this way and then we go on to the last sets of visuals coming up now okay the last two questions coming up question number 1 okay between sorry who is it for sorry i'm sorry i'm very tequila. bad at this it's for tequila mocking but Tequila Mockingbird, you've got yourself a simple one. His wife is a former Olympic diving champion and works for the United Nations. One of his ancestors worked for William Shakespeare. Who am I talking about? Okay, Joy, I'm going for it. This is the Phantom. So, Diana Palmer or Kit, whatever you call it, Diana Palmer works with the United Nations. This that. So, Phantom is the answer. Phantom is the answer. Absolutely, may Tatha, may you always wear your underwear over your pants in honor of that great man. This is the Phantom. This is the man who reduced our childhood and gave us fashion, which we should never have believed in. But terrific answer there, Takila Mockingbird. You got that one. And just one question left is a direct. Then we have six more visuals. Uh, the question: Who is it coming up for? It's coming up for Rudisha, right? Rudisha, it's your okay. direct. Okay. 
the religion of dash has the same format as a catholic religion uh its main day celebrated on the 30th of october okay it has about 25000 members official members this religion which religion am i talking about same format as a catholic religion dash is considered a supreme god their main day is celebrated on 30th october which religion am i talking about which has officially more than 25000 members worldwide odisha solution yours okay passing your odisha solution inform in maniacs <laughs> Inform in maniacs. Kabbalah, not the Kabbalah, uncalled for. Ah, uh, is this Ron Hubbard? Ah, uh, uh, Scientology. Not Scientology. Vela Group. Pastafarians. Flying not pastor. You not pastafarians as well. I'm a pastafarian myself. I'm a very serious pastafarian. <laughs> Has been. Rishi go. Oh yeah, actually we thought the same thing. Pastafarians are. Okay. Ah, uh, what else can we? Think of uh, Mormon. Should try the Mormons. Dishu twenty twenty one. Druidism or druids? No. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey matter. Uh, Satanism. No. Tequila Mockingbird. Yours. Uh, is it the Jedi religion? No. Uh, this happens to be the. The thirtieth October is a giveaway. I wish it's my birthday, so but it's not. Sadly, the religion is not about me. It's the religion of Diego Maradona. So there is a full-fledged established religion, the Church of Diego Maradona. That Diego Maradona's birthday is on the thirtieth October. It has more than twenty-five thousand members worldwide. So Diego Maradona is the answer I'm looking for. So just before we start our six visuals, a couple of things, uh, housekeeping things. This quiz comes to you every year because of many people who work in the background. People like Sunam, Rinku, lot of people who support this. But mainly, it comes Amit Gupta, who's been absolutely fantastic in helping and putting it together. But mainly, it comes because of Swapna, who remembers her husband and puts this together every year to get the finest minds around the world to talk to each other and enjoy themselves for an hour and a half. So, thank you so much, Swapna. Uh, just for bringing us all together and making this so so very special year after year. Uh, thank you, Joy. We wouldn't have this quiz without you ever. Thank you. Thanks so much. Wonderful, wonderful being here. Swapna is also going to give you Amazon coupons as prizes, so there's lots to look forward to still. And before we end, six questions to go. Shiv, will you let us know what could happen out here? Yeah, it's getting pretty closely bunched at the top. We have oh, wow. uh, Tishum and uh, Rudisha at seventy, and uh, Tequila Mockingbird and Fifty Shades of Grey Matter also pretty close behind. Tequila Mockingbird, Fifty Shades of Grey Matter, Tishum. I think it's bunched up there. I think at this point in time. Okay, six questions to go, and who answered just now? Nobody answered, right? So it was whose direct was it? Rudisha Solutions. Inform in Mayx. It's your direct and. We're going to go with Inform in Maniacs is direct. Coming up now. Uh, here's your question. Okay, minimalist poster for which film? Inform in Maniacs. I mean, if you've seen this, you'll remember exactly these three things. Passing you uncalled for. In uh, Invisible Man. Not Invisible Man. Inform in Benyax. Good try. Uh, uncalled for. Ah, uh, okay. So we were thinking Invisible Man. Kevin Bacon. No, not Kevin Bacon or Invisible Man. Vela Group. Ocean's Eleven. Not Ocean's Eleven. Has been. Mr. India. Not Mr. India. Good try. Dishum Twenty Twenty One. Dishum twenty twenty one. No, passing you. Fifty Shades of Grey matter. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas. 
Lovely answer. That's a spectacularly good answer. This is fear and loathing in Las Vegas. If you remember that cap and that cigarette holder, that is completely fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Terrific answer, Ishan. Really good answer. And let's move to the next one. Five questions to go. Okay. This is again, I'm sorry, I've had two questions. This, this is the 1992 Olympics. Your question, Tequila Mockingbird. Why, if you see all of them are wearing, you know, their American shirts, you can make out their costumes. Why is Michael Jordan carrying the US flag as well? There's a very good reason for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this Tequila Mockingbird. Uh, so he's covering the logo because uh, there was this fight, I think, between Nike and uh, Adidas or Reebok. So basically, Nike and Reebok. So uh, Reebok was the official sponsor, but Michael Jordan supported Nike. So he didn't want to make sure that the Nike logo was shown. So he draped the US flag over his right shoulder so that the uh, Reebok logo or what is not shown. So this was the Nike logo uh, is not brand shown. fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll give it to you. I will not see. Absolutely. This is Michael Jordan had a half an hour. The team didn't come out after this because Michael Jordan said, I'm not going to walk out with a Reebok logo for the gold medal ceremony. And so they draped the American flag. So, you know, what looks like a very patriotic gesture is a stone-cold marketing move. Sorry to break your heart, gentlemen, if you don't know. Okay, well done. Good answer there, Tequila Mockingbird. Next one coming up, Radisha Solutions. Two of the teams hot on your tails have answered. So, you really need this. Which uh, album is this? I've just covered the name of the album. It's one of the, it's one of the seminal rock albums. Uh, which album is this? This is the cover of which album? Sorry if everyone misses this, but this is very my kind of music. Rudisha Solution, which album? Okay, passing you Rudisha, inform in Sorry. Sorry. It's Asia, Steely Dan. Who said that? Inform in, 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 in Maniacs. Okay, you obviously are same vintage as me. Aja Steely Dan, fantastic answer. I, I think Inform In Maniacs have answered some spectacular ones today. This is Steely Dan's Aja, one of the best albums. Fantastic album, great answer there. Next one coming up now. Okay, yours, uh, Uncalled For. What is this called? There's a technical word for it, but you know, there's a, what is this creature commonly known as? Uncalled For. It looks like one of my teachers, but yeah, that's a different matter. No, Vela Group? Java the Hutism. Java the no. Has been. Which called the one? Goblin Fish. Not the Goblin Fish. Good try. It is looks like a goblin, I have to say. Uh, who is that? Has been. Dishum 2021? Is it a blobfish? It is a blobfish. This is actually a blobfish. And uh, it's, it's regarded, well regarded as possibly the ugliest fish in the world. There's only one caveat I'll give. The poor creature actually stays 3000 meters under the water. So this only, this look is only after the fish has been flattened because it's not used to, it's used to far more pressure than this. So I think if you have a look at it 3000 meters down, perhaps it'll look a bit better than this. But blobfish is the correct answer. Great tissue answers. 50 shades of gray matter, yours. Last two to go. Okay. This, you can see this is Queen. Okay. This picture of Queen, the album of Queen was inspired by a very, very famous picture of an actress. Can you identify the actress? This exact pose, Freddie Mercury, is inspired by a very well-known actress. Who was the actress? Marlene Dietrich. Joy. Marlene Dietrich, and this is what she looked like. Oh, That's what it's yes. inspired by. Well done. 10 points to you. Very good answer. 50 Shades of Grey Matter. Tequila Mockingbird, your direct coming up. I think it's, this is the last direct of the quiz. Just identify uh, the lady in the middle and either name any one of these two ladies or their mother. The lady in the middle, identify any of these two ladies or their mother. Takina Mokumbad, yours. I will give uh, half points if nobody gets a full everything correct. We are guessing uh, Amrita Shergill and Frida Kahlo. Amrita Shergill, Frida Kahlo, I will wait for a better answer. Partially correct. If there's somebody gets it full, we'll wait. 
Rudisha solution. Frida Kahlo and Suraya. Not Frida Kahlo and Suraya. Informing maniacs. Uh, Frida Kahlo and uh, the daughters of Vijay Lakshmi Pandit, Krishna Arti Singh, and uh, uh, I'm forgetting the other name. No, not the daughters of Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Good try. Good try. Okay, keep going. Uncalled for. Uh, Frida Kahlo. Just had it fine. Yeah. Vela Group. Frida Kahlo and Lantara Sagar. It is Frida Kahlo, and then the one on the left is Nantara Segal. It is not Vijay Lakshmi Pandit's children. It's Sarojini Naidu's daughters. That's Rita Dar, and that's Nantara Segal. That's what they are with Frida Kahlo. So full points goes to Vela Group. Bad luck there. And that is it for the quiz today. I deeply suspect we're going to have tiebreakers. Let's have a look at the final scores. Yes, Joy. Can you unshare? Uh, we do have oh, a tiebreaker needed. For the top position. Okay. So we have 50 shades of gray, gray matter and the Shum 21, uh, both on 80. And we had the Rhodesia solutions very close behind at 70. But we need a tiebreaker to decide the top position. I think this has been a spectacular quiz. 25, yep. 45, 35, 55. In third place, we have, uh, in fourth place, we have Tequila Mockingbird at 65, Rhodesia Solution on 70. Tequila Mockingbird heartbreakingly away from Rhodesia Solutions. But 50 Shades of Grey Matter and Dishum 2021 are locked on 80. And we're going to have a tiebreaker. And the way we're going to play the tiebreaker is a very simple one. I'm going to have, it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be a sudden death. So I'm going to ask a question. Uh, basically, whichever team puts up their hand to answer it, you put the hand symbol. You know how to do that, guys? Okay. Sure. I'm... Okay. Do you know how to put up a hand? Uh, put up a hand. Guys, do you want to check it out, how to do it? Uh, Joydeep, you put it up. Shudipto, okay, you put it up. Okay. Now, my only problem is I can't see everyone on the same screen together. Uh, how much of, is there any way I can make the screen in which I can see everyone together? How does one do that on, uh, if everybody else... Probably have to take a breakout room then, George. You have to oh, take a breakout, breakout room. Suggest... That much technology, no, if I understood, I wouldn't be doing this. I really need to the I think you go to the gallery view. Just the camera off. No, I'll go into the gallery. You're going to gallery view. Guys, gallery. if the rest of you can just shut off your cameras. Exactly. And just the, uh, the teams sit there. Okay, guys, all I need is 50 shades of gray matter. And okay, I can't sure. see, still can't see two screens together. Let me see if I can put all the screens Joy, together. Can I just say something if you don't mind? People with the, with, the, uh, with the camera, there is a way that you can do that on Zoom. How do what? Joy, as this yes. is pretty informal, if we may suggest, we are quite happy to share first prize with the other team. If it saves. Guys, are you happy to share first prize with the other team? 50 Shades of Grey Matter? Yeah. Yes, no, 50 Shades of Grey Matter. Yeah, after a very deep yeah. religious conversation, <laughs> I turn religious when it comes to the deep end of quizzes. We, we can split the prize. We are okay with that. So. Okay, that's fantastic because just, if nothing else, swap you all put your screens together. I am just feeling so much like Ravi Shastri today. Cricket is the winner. <laughs> quizzing is the winner. <laughs> Guys, everyone is happy. Quizzing is the winner. Mayuk will be up there smiling at this. Thank you. And I think it's completely in keeping with the way this entire Mind of Maze 2021 has happened. So Apna pulled up some miracles, getting so many people to get together and enjoy themselves. But I think it's been an absolutely enthralling finish. So that's how it finally ended. Tequila Mockingbird and Rudisha Solution were close. But it was Fifty Shades of Grey Matter and Dijum 2021 who came first in this edition of the competition. And it's absolutely fantastic. It's all the teams got some terrific answers. I think we enjoyed some memorable answers from all the teams. And uh, quizzing was a winner. What else can one ask for? I'd really like to thank everyone associated with this. Thanks, Shiv. 
for putting all this up every time. Thanks all of you for coming together for this. We'd love to do it live again in Singapore, but if it's not possible, we'll do this online for you every year. Fantastic having you all. Have a lovely day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joy. Thank, Thank you, everyone. And the winners will be will be in touch with you. There is there are some cash uh, Amazon vouchers and some hampers and maybe some dining vouchers coming your way. Excellent. So, and Joy, yours is due whenever you're you are here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for it when I come. Okay, folks. Thanks so much for joining in. That's all from Mind yeah. Amaze 2021. Goodbye. Thanks. Thanks, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Swapna, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm still there. Thank you. Who's still there? Should I end the meeting? No, don't. Ha, I'm uh, stopping the live streaming. <laughs>